And we're joined right now by the manager of the Boston Red Sox, Alex Cora. He's brought to you by Shaw's and Star Market, perfecting the art of fresh. By Arbella, here for baseball fans, here for good. And by Sherwin-Williams. The Sherwin-Williams Pro Plus program helps you manage and grow your paint business. Alex Cora, how are we doing this week? I'm doing good. How are you guys? We're doing well. We uh, we were just we didn't realize the the angry lizard was a nickname for for Jaron Duran. That's a thing. That's the first time I heard that. Oh, you, oh you're right. <laughs> That's the first time we all heard of it too. So we'll uh, we'll have to uh, we'll have to question I know, Will. I know they uh, because of his running form. Uh, last year, like it was like a, a big gay ride. Like he, his hands were all over the place. Uh, Maybe they call him like the lizard form, but I don't. I never heard the angry lizard. All right, so, I mean, we're gonna have if to. If we want to uh, make it a thing, let's make it a thing. Right? Uh, no, no, no. I'm 100 percent in. We're gonna have to get to the bottom of that. So, so the the highlight last night, at least for me, maybe you disagree, was that double steal where he takes home. Uh, Rafael Devers takes second base. What goes into that decision in that spot? Um, it's just reacting to what's happening on the field. Um, you know, the reliever uh, from the get go, from when he came in. We knew we, we can take advantage of, of certain situations, right, and then run against him. He, he's pretty slow. Uh, Rafael gets on, gets on. He's still second. Uh, we we tried another one with Willie. He actually stole the base, but he didn't slide. So he can't, comes up the bag, and he's out. And then Rafi, for how big he is, he, he moves, you know, and he had a great jump. He took off, and uh, they took a chance to into second base, and, and Jaron – reacted to the plate. Uh, we we were surprised that they actually threw the second uh, in that spot, but uh, obviously, you know, we we were prepared, and Duran did an amazing job getting a good jump at third base and scoring. So Duran ranks in the top 10 for stolen bases in all of Major League Baseball right now. Um, how would you say that he measures up against some of the other great athletes, base runners that you've either uh, coached or played with or against? Um, he's one of the fastest guys that I, I've been around as a player, as a manager. Um, it just, it's, 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 he changes the game. And, uh, you know, Jaron, he, he's come a long way from the kid that we called up a few years ago, uh, making mistakes in the outfield and, and hitting the ball in the air. And now he's kind of like playing like a, like a, a good leadoff guy. You know, he works the count. He goes the other way. He's getting on base. He's putting pressure. And the other thing he's doing is he's playing great defense. And uh, he, he's one of the best athletes that we have. Uh, he's up there with Wong and, and Trevor Story. And um, I'm glad that he's our leadoff guy. He's playing this way. You mentioned uh, Willie Abreu and the uh, month that he's had. Obviously, he's cooled off a lot since that great April he had. He did have that tie-breaking single last night. What do you say to a young player like him who did show some great promise early on in the season but then has really cooled off in uh, in May? Um, that, that's part of the process, and he's going to be hitting second for us against every righty. And, uh, I mean, obviously, it's 162, and you're going to have your hot streak, and you're going to cool down. But the good thing about him is, is that he controls his strike zone. He's going to take his walks. I think his on-base percentage is like 380 uh, so far this season. He's been driving the ball, and he's playing great defense. So uh, we're very happy with the way he's going about his business. He, he's been solid for us, and, um, you know, he's a really good player. We're talking to the manager of the Red Sox, Alex Cora, here on Jones and Mega with Arcan on WEI. And it's time now for our Sherwin-Williams question of the week. It's sponsored by Sherwin-Williams. Ask Sherwin-Williams how to bring color to your life. And our Sherwin-Williams question of the week is from Yelsum Silviera at High Power Pro Painting. And uh, the question is, during a no-hitter, no one wants to talk to the starting pitcher. Is there a similar situation <laughs> during a, a, a hitting streak or like a home run streak that Rafael Devers just had? Like, are you are you talking to the players during that? Are you talking about that? How do you handle it? No, obviously we talk to the players, but uh, you can tell that, you know, th their behavior is a little bit different. You know, like Rafi, the last... Three, three games, he's been very quiet in the dugout, you know, like very locked in, you know. So so guys kind of like stay away from him. But, uh, yeah, it's a lot different than, than the no-hitters or perfect games, you know. Uh, you still got to coach them, uh, talk about approach, talk about situations. But uh, definitely the last three games for Rafi, very solo on the bench, kind of like locked in, visualizing probably hitting another homer, man. What a good life, right? He's that good. <laughs> 
So this is the first series you guys have won against the Rays on the road since 2019. What do you think feels different about this team compared to no, some we, we, No, 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 no. Let me... Uh, we win the series, but we won here before. I remember we beat them in 21 when they missed it in the playoffs. So um, we just, you know, it, it's a different, it's a different group. Uh, we're more athletic, kind of like good for this environment in, in in Tropicana Field. You know, the turf and the roof, and it's so spacious in the outfield. And uh, we're 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 better. The other thing, and and this is something that I've been saying all along. It feels like every night the starter is going to go six innings for us. And we're pitching toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Uh, and we've been able to beat them uh, twice here. It's, it's, what, three out of six, you know, which is not great, but it's actually better than the last two years. So uh, uh, we get a chance here to, to sweep them and then and, and finish the road trip in a, in a high note. Uh, enjoy the off day. Uh, you know, go to the game tomorrow. Enjoy it, right? And, uh, and then be ready for the Brewers. It should be a, a cool week in a Fenway. Alex, I know last night you said there was no new news on Garrett Whitlock. Any new news today? No, nothing yet. Uh, I think uh, it's just uh, sending out the appointment, go down there. Uh, like I said yesterday, uh, there's a good chance he's going to end up having surgery, which sucks, right? But, uh, you know, uh, we got to keep moving. Uh, he'll be fine. He'll bounce back for whatever happens, you know, and uh, he'll be a big part of the organization uh, in the future. What uh, What's the lineup look like tonight? We got uh, we got Coop at first. We got Hammy at short. Uh, Grissom at second. Wong catching. Rafi at third. Rafaela, Abreu, Duran, and Ref Snyder is the agent. Okay, uh, so there's our lineup for the Red Sox tonight. You can catch that on WEEI. That's the manager of the Red Sox, Alex Cora, joins us every Wednesday here on Jones and Mego with Arcan. Alex, we appreciate the time. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. Be well. Take uh, care. All right. Alex Cora, as all our guests joining us here on WEEI. So a little bit of an update there, right? I mean, had he definitively said, I think we all expected it. Had he definitively said he's going to be getting surgery, Garrett Whitlock? I think that was rumored. I don't know if it had been that's what I'm saying. officially I said think, yet. I think we all assume it. He's going right. for a second opinion. We knew it wasn't good. I don't know if that's been verbalized by the organization. Uh, so a bit of news there.